no, 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 this is a mic. Uh, and this, this is our, our friend back here. Can everybody hear me all right? Yeah, I'm not singing today, so this won't work. All right, hey, John back there, and John, John, and Jim, can you hear me? Are you sure? No, you're on your own. No, 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 all right. Are you guys waving down taxis? One arm would work. Which one are you gonna puppeteer with? Okay, do you know what a puppeteer is? He's running for president. No, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, no political. Okay, if you're looking up in the air, you're doing it wrong. There we go. Just yeah. simply do this, all right? To work a character, you have to be one. Apparently, you're doing pretty good. All right, so that's good. So one of the other things you want to do is that your character always has to come alive. Don't pay any attention to me, I'm just here. So, what you want to do is that you open and close like you're chewing gum. Are they opening and closing, gang, out there? Uh, audience participation helps. Yes. Good, all right. I'm gonna be over your head if you don't mind, okay? All right, all right so what you want to do is now you open and close when you say a word, just like you do in real life. I know no one pays attention to you in real life, but we know, up, uh, what are you looking at me for? Get up here, thank you. All right, so what you want to do is, we're well, gonna follow what I have to say, and let's see if you can lip sync along. We're gonna do this slow. All right, open and close. Follow me, you're all looking at me? All your characters are looking at me? Super? No, I don't hear you guys. You do have a voice. Super. Kala. Fragile. Listic. XP. Ala. Docious. Do you got that? You think so? We're having a comment. How about you? You think so? Okay. Now let's try it again. Up in the air. No one sits down in this show. All right, we got our little friend down in the corner. Hey, uh, Captain America, you all set down there? All right, good. All right, let's try it again. Super. Super. Kala. Kala. Fragile. Fragile. Listing. XP. XP. Ala. Docious. Now let's do it fast. Are you ready? Super Kala, Fragile, Listing, XP, Ala, Docious. No, if your mouth is open at the end, you're wrong. <laughs> Let's try it again. Open and close. Otherwise, it looks like a Japanese movie. <laughs> it, and that's where you're going to get a job puppeteering. It won't be here. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, up in the air. Ready? Super. Super. Kala. Kala. Fragile. Fragile. Listic. Listic. XP. XP. Ala. Ala. Docious. Now let's do it fast, all right? You kids can follow. Ready? Super califragilistic XB Aladocious. How'd they do, gang? All right, give them a big hand. No, they can't clap, they got only one. Thanks. All right, you ready? <laughs> Think it's an aerobics, 12 o'clock at noon. All right, so, now what we're gonna do is body language, now that you've now spoken the super califragilistic XB Aladocious line. See, I even stir, like that? No? Did you? Okay. Ready? Let's try a little body language. All right, a little body language. Super califragilistic expialidocious. how they do? All right, so now we're gonna do a little more body language, right? Okay, we're gonna sway to this side. Califragilistic expialidocious. All right, you guys, good hand. Go ahead, give him a big hand. Summers, in case you don't know, I'm the hippie in charge here. Uh, well known as the king of pop culture and the game you're from. Andrew, of course, king of parties, right? <laughs> and uh, so we want to put some depth in here. That's why we brought depth of field. Because there's really something important about being in the entertainment industry. Uh, my friend Billy West says the entertainment industry is the only industry that's made in America, that makes money in America, and stays money in America. And I think that's an important aspect that all of us in this world, we know. We're either creators or we're consumers of what creators create. And so to me, it was, I read Andrew's work all the time. I love his writing. 
I love his depth of mind and his helpfulness. And so really it was important to me to be able to allow you guys to get inside Andrew WK's mind. So Patrick, I'm gonna throw it over to Patrick to get this party started. Okay. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna immediately throw out my notes. You just mentioned creators and consumers. Uh, but there's th sort of this third realm, which is what you do, which is a compiler, a connoisseur, someone who presents things to people. And I guess as a journalist, I'm sort of the same way. Andrew, you do some of that yourself. I mean, you showcase the people that you like. Um, so how does, I guess what made you guys realize that in whatever aspect you decided to focus on, like who did you look up to and in the entertainment industry and what made you think that, you know, what was the first thing that made you stop and go like, oh, maybe I could create my own space in this realm. Well, uh, that's like a curator, so, so, so to speak, or, uh, or a maven, someone who has a lot of connections and a lot of interests and a lot of abilities and maybe is a bit of a leader, uh, but also a facilitator. And I actually have not necessarily excelled at that personally, but I have been uh, fortunate enough to be in the presence of some uh, incredible people like that from the very beginning, who almost were, were sort of all valuable lessons. And maybe one of the things about the arts, which is so uh, ex ex especially valuable, is that it illustrates those lessons. It allows you to get distance or perspective on real life through what might be called you know, fantasy or a story or an allegory or symbolism or illustration, ways to illustrate the world that make it actually more understandable than real life itself, so to speak. I mean, it's just a few moments. <laughs> okay. oh. 